Today we tackle the question, how do I get into a leadership role and how do I do that while I'm working from home? Hi, it's Anthony Anarino from thesalesblog.com and now from youtube.com forward slash Anarino. And I'm back the second day here trying to deliver a daily video like I do the daily blog. Still working through a backlog of questions that I've gotten. I've got about a dozen questions that have came in by email. I've promised the writer that I would deliver them here on YouTube so that I could share them with other people and that more people could benefit from the answer. This question comes from a reader who is now in a sales role. He was a salesperson and then a sales manager, and his wife got her dream job, so he had to move across the country. Now he's out west. He's got a new job where he's in a sales role, but he wants to work himself back into a leadership role. So his question is this, how can I get back into a leadership role without threatening the people who are leaders now? And two, how can I do that while I'm working from home? And he lives a couple hours away from his home office. So he's a little bit of a distance away, but he does work from a home office. So here's a couple thoughts. The first thing is, if you want to be a leader and if you want a leadership role, what you have to do is go ahead and become a leader. You have to find some place, some area, some project where you can visibly take responsibility and be accountable for delivering that result. No one taps you on the shoulder and makes you a leader. I mean, it can happen in big companies where they need somebody and so they grab somebody. But if you want it, you need to make it known. And the way that you make it known is by grabbing some project, probably one that no one else wants because nobody wants to be accountable for that result or it's going to take time. And you're going to need to grab that and do your regular job and succeed there and then show people I'm ready to take on a leadership role. It's not threatening to other people. If it's threatening to them, it means really they're a weak leader because leaders build leaders. They don't build followers. They build other leaders. That's what a leader does is build more leaders. So if you're threatening them, you may have to play some politics if that's what you want. And you may have to be careful about how you pursue and what you pursue this, but you need to make it visible that you're already a leader and you're already taking accountability for big outcomes. The second thing is, how do you do this from home? And I'll tell you my opinion. There aren't very many things more dangerous to most people than working from home. Most people don't have the discipline to do it and they're home, but they're not really working. And the second thing is you're so far away from people. People don't really get to know you. They don't get to spend time with you. They don't get to understand your character. In this case, because the writer of this email is two hours away, you need to find every reason possible to work from that office. If you go in two days a week and spend six hours or eight hours or spend one night at a hotel, the more that you're visible in finding these projects where you can demonstrate leadership, the greater likelihood you're going to have of becoming a leader and working your way back into that role faster. So a couple lessons from this video. One, if you want to be a leader, step up and be a leader. Find something that you can be accountable for. Volunteer for that work, especially something that other people don't want to do. Nothing identifies you as a leader more than grabbing dirty jobs that other people won't do. And then two, if you work from home, you need to have a presence with the people at your corporate office and you really need to be super disciplined and put up the numbers. Home working is very difficult. It's dangerous, more dangerous than most people assume. And if you want to be in a leadership role, you're too far away to be able to easily do that without getting there and having influence. I'm Anthony Anarino. When you leave this video, go to thesalesblog.com. While you're there, sign up for the newsletter. It's my favorite piece of content. Maybe not my best piece of content. I think it is, but at least it's my favorite piece of content every week. It will come to your inbox on Sunday morning, uh, and you'll have a chance to read it and reset, and you'll be able to take action on what I give you Sunday on Monday morning when you get back to work. See you back here tomorrow on the YouTube channel. I'm Anthony Anarino. Thanks for being here.